Well, look, it goes back to last Tuesday, Bev, when Captain Philip Mertens was piloting a light plane, a single-engine plane, into the village of Paro in the central highlands of Papua. Now, he uh, works for Suzy Air, which has many flights in that region. As the plane landed, the five passengers uh, got off and the rebels, the West Papua National Liberation Army, stormed the plane and took him hostage. They released the passengers because they were all locals and they set fire to the plane, at least in the cockpit. Now, in the days since, we know that uh, he has been taken to some sort of re remote location and the rebel group, which is in fact the armed wing of the Free Papua Movement, or OPM, have basically said they will not release him until Indonesia grants them independence over the entire Papua region. And uh, it's now eight days. Uh, military leaders in Indonesia are uncertain just where he is. And uh, just in the last 24 hours, we have seen, seen videos and photos photos of the pilot with some of the rebel members, uh, supposedly healthy and well, but of course uh, no one knows exactly where he is. Yes, um, thankfully those videos do seem to suggest that he is not being mistreated at this point. Um, but what do we know about this group? Have they used this kind of tactic in the past? Look, they have. I mean, going right back to 1996, the parents of some of these rebel members, I'm told, were part of the same sort of separatist group. They carried out a major hostage taking in 96, where they took 11 people, uh, held them for more than four months, including four Britons, two, two uh, people from the Netherlands. Just in this uh, last few weeks, the day after uh, the pilot was taken hostage, another 15 construction workers were also taken hostage, but released uh, soon after when uh, the Indonesian military moved in. There was another incident uh, two years ago where, there, where a pilot and a passenger from the same airline were taken hostage but released soon after. There have been uh, attacks on similar planes in the past. In 2014, I, 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 I gather that one plane was also shot at. The same group, in fact, did take responsibility for a massacre in Nduga district, the same area, in, in uh, just over four years ago, where 20 road workers were actually killed, road workers who were either Indonesian or at least seen as uh, part of the Indonesian kind of regime in Papua, if you like. So there is a history. Uh, it is a violent history. There have been many attacks and they have been ramped up in, in recent weeks and the last four years. And uh, of course, it's unclear just how long this incident could go. Yeah. Do we understand, do we know much about whether any negotiation is taking place between them and the Indonesian government? Well, look, given that the Indonesian government, uh, the military at least, doesn't know exactly where the pilot is being held, they can't, uh, presumably can't negotiate directly with this rebel group. Uh, they have been, I'm told, negotiating via the church, which is very strong in Papua, particularly among indigenous Papuans who are on the whole Christian. And they have been negotiating, I gather, through some locals in Paro village in the Enduga district. But of course, we, we don't know if that is the same district where they're being held. We have actually learned just in the last hour or so that hundreds of people in that village have now fled. Uh, the rebel group spokesman says it's because they are fearful that Indonesian soldiers are about to launch a major rescue operation and move in and they're worried they'll be caught in the crossfire. Uh, the mil Indonesian military says they believe it's because they're fearful of intimidation from those rebel groups. And uh, of course we don't know which side is correct but I, we're told that more than 200 people have fled the region which is no mean feat given how remote it is. It is many hours walking, I'm told, to the next town. Yeah, and very difficult. It's unlikely, though, that Indonesia is going to accede to these demands that the rebel group is putting forward. Look, I can't see anything along those lines happening. And that's why, you know, I think people are worried that looking back to 1996 when hostages were held for more than four months, uh, they're making clear today they will not release this pilot until Indonesia grants sovereignty over Papua to, to uh, the separatist uh, movement or to indigenous Papuans at least. So, uh, you know, you have to ask at what point will this end? Will it go that long? In which case, could there be some sort of military confrontation? Uh, or will there be some success in negotiation? At this stage, that doesn't seem likely to happen anytime soon. Yeah, difficult one. We'll keep watching this. Uh, and thanks so much. Thanks, Beth.